Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another unscripted episode of Show and Tell around the MicroSDX sandwich. This is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. And as you can see here, we have OLED display now. Because many people were complaining that the displays I was using were too expensive. And they are right. They are 16 bucks up. Um, but the form factor of the micro SDX, which is the same size as a credit card, won't allow me to use the standard 1602 display. So I had to use something different. Now with OLED displays, I showed you in a, in a video before, we had a lot of problems with noise. We have solved this. Um, let me demonstrate. No change in background noise level. Uh, the secret is here, which is my <laughs> my uh, modification uh, that I did on my prototype PCB. Uh, this modification is already included in the latest release. Okay, now just let me plug that in. Another feature I've added is this interface. You can read here USB TTL. I'm using a USB TTL converter. So just let me demonstrate, plug that in. See? Cut control. This works also the other way. I'm clicking here. I'm scrolling with the mouse. Okay, I need to go on there. And those features will be improved in the future. Um, right now there's only very basic commands in there but it's already enough to trigger ptt for example for um fd8 so and frequency and this way you can already use the sandwich right now uh, with fd8 even with ptt control uh, next things to integrate will be uh, mode recognition uh, as you can see i'm in mode cw but it will always uh see it as uh, usb that's a little bit unfortunate if that's fixed um we will be able even to use it with n1mm logging software and uh, with uh, cw transmission and stuff like that okay that's the oled board um now let's go yeah maybe you have recognized there is another interface. I'm going to show you what's that about. Let me unconnect this. When programming software updates and stuff like that, I'm doing that with an Arduino Uno via the ISP uh, uh, interface. And usually I had to disconnect the bottom layer, the um, RF PCB, which is now no longer necessary. You can simply plug in here without disassembling the rig and you can program it no no longer need to disassemble okay and finally you may have recognized that there's another additional jack this is pa send output i'm going to show you in a second when i've set it up give me a second Okay, now the micro SDX is connected to the PA. Um, the PA is not yet active. If I get to go to transmit, you can see, yeah, there's around four watts out. Now I switch on the PA and we are at 112 watts. So with this connector, we can control our external PA. It's a P PTT output if you, if you want. Um, this will 
This will trigger the PA and there's another option in the menu, uh, which is TX delay. Um, since we can do a full QSK here, but the PA has an, a relay in it, so it won't allow that, we can have a delay. So it is triggered delayed. And the final improvement is also the biggest, I feel. It's this brand new 8-band RF board. With that bottom layer of the sandwich, we now cover almost complete shortwave. We have 8 slots, unfortunately, or fortunately, <laughs> we have 9 bands. Um, so you have to sacrifice one. Uh, in this case, I have, um, hmm, let me see, 80, 60, uh, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, and 10 meters. I left out 12 meters because, uh, yeah, when when 10 meters open, or sorry, when 12 meters open, 10, me 10 meter will be open as well, and uh, 10 meter is more common, I would say. Yeah, you could discuss that. However, I had to sacrifice one band and yeah, now we are covering almost the complete shortwave. Uh, another change uh, in this multiband board is um, now every band that's not used is grounded, so it cannot interfere with the rest or the active band, I would say. And the biggest upgrade is the FET. It is driven that the complete output power comes from one SOT23 FET. And that's only possible uh, because we are running that thing very efficiently. Um, depending on band and your setup and your tweaking and stuff like that, you get usually between 80 and 90% of efficiency. This means 80 to 90% of the the power you put in there comes out as RF, which is <laughs> quite remarkable, I would say. And this on eight bands. Perfect portable rig. Now, um, there is, of course, a disadvantage here uh, with this tiny little FET, because uh, if you have bad SWR, you will most likely, yeah, run into uh, overheating problems. Um, so I would advise to only use it for antennas with uh, one SWR of 1.5 to 1 or better. Uh, if you have something like 1 to 3 and do not match that, you will probably end up with a blown uh, PA fit. I would not recommend that. It's a little bit of a disadvantage. I'm looking what I can do about that right now but right now i have only i can only make the make you aware of that and ask you to be careful yeah and now let me show you the latest the last update the latest update is the home page i launched um since i got so many questions about stuff that already has been answered in groups.io i'm starting to collect any information regarding the sandwich be it building instructions or technical details or updates or whatever uh, on my own page so i launched the page delta lima 2 mike alpha november dot de home of the micro sdx sandwich and I'm giving you some, some insights, some historical stuff, uh, some building instructions. Um, yeah, you can find all the files you need. Uh, recently, there's been a group by information about that, information about the different RF boards, IO boards, main board. This is far away from ready yet, but it will be uh, continued the work on that will be continued and I will try to put as much information on there as uh, I can possibly can and this should be the main source for information uh, around the micro SDX sandwich okay that's all for now thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it hope you consider building one I try to make it as easy as possible and try to make the rig as nice as possible and special thanks goes to guido papa echo one november november zulu uh, he's obviously 
he's not very present, but he is the guy um, that you can see, but has at least, if not more, uh, share on this project as I have. Uh, he is the, the donator of the idea behind that. He is the maker of the software. Every software aspect that uh, is taking place comes from Guido. So thank you, Guido. Nice job as always. 73, good luck. Bye-bye.